liked about this machine, you're always working the grapples up above you, uh, dissecting trees apart a little at a time. So this machine came with a guard that goes right over your top window. You can pop it up like this so it's cleanable. You can clean it off and uh, that works super well. Uh, it's rated at about 800 pounds from 40 feet is what I was told from the manufacturer of this machine. That that's what that guard's rated at. Here's all your extra electrical components for the saw and all the uh, other extra electrical equipment that's on this machine. You got nice access, pretty decent size opening here. This pops off, boom, you're into that area if you need it. You got a Zuzu engine. I've been told, don't know a ton about it, but that this is a good, good engine to run. Um, it's really, really quiet. That's one thing I have noticed about this machine. When I'm sitting inside and I go to start it up, that at times I, I, I really don't know that it's running, especially if you have a little earpiece in or something. So compared to our other equipment, it's been really quiet. That's nice. So we'll walk down this way and check this out. Fairly nice way up and down on it. We work our way around. You got access to the hydraulic manifold here. Working our way back around. We got some more access right into the side of the engine. Uh, push blade. One thing I've really, really liked about this machine compared to our other machine that's the same size as the, the push blade on here. Um, same design, the blade itself, but this machine has a lot, lot more track power. I noticed the ability for it to to push is definitely, um, you can have this blade full of dirt and boiling over the top and still turn with the full blade of dirt. So that's been amazing. Um, had this added, this is a good chunk of counterweight. Uh, sometimes I'm torn on whether you add counterweight and make the machine heavier or not, but I'm really, really glad we did on this. With that head, that grapple saw head all the way out over the side, this is really keeps it stable. So for the, for the size machine running that size head, I have found this machine to be really, really stable and, and this definitely helped. Come around to this side, got obviously a cleanable screen. You pop that right out, blow it out every couple of days or every day if you're in really saw to see type of stuff. So got that on, get access, got your air filter, and then we'll take, take a look at the ground here. So super, super comfortable. Uh, eight way seat. All your uh, your comforts. We can actually take this inside for a second. And we're gonna shut this door. I don't know if this will give you uh, any any uh, ability to kind of hear the difference, but we'll put our guard up and start this. Machine's running right now. Very very quiet. If you go ahead and turn the fan down. That's Get the brake down here. That's full throttle right there. It's it's quiet in here in comparison to a lot of the other machines I've ran in this class. So then you got uh, your camera options. Uh, I like to run this. You got your rear view and your side view, which is nice. That's looking straight that way. That camera, many different functions. I don't need to go through all of them, but you can do a lot with this uh, set in hydraulics and uh, and uh, you know all your other settings so uh, just extremely comfortable your uh, AC boom fans on full right there fans all the way off so it's been nice real quick uh, uh, controls there so overall cabin super quiet like I said great visibility out the top and it's nice to know that you got that that protection there so we'll go ahead and jump out and look at uh, some of the rest machine clicked her off there definitely you could hear it but it's uh pretty nice really really nice great undercarriage uh this track pad width um i didn't really get the width until we ordered the machine and uh it's uh it's 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 a narrower track than other machine and i thought we'd fight that pretty bad um with stability over the side but not at all and the advantage is are being more nimble getting around in the woods it definitely has made a difference on how nimble the machine feels so i would definitely recommend this 
track with, especially in a forestry application. I've done dirt work this, with this machine and it does awesome. But obviously in really wet ground, you would probably notice a difference, but you know what you're doing on it, it won't be a big deal. So if you look here, this is the winch. Sorry about the bad kill on the end. That, uh, that sucks and I need to redo it. But with that pipe choker on it, that's been a great, great ad for you know choking trees, winching them up, pulling stuff. This clips right in. Here, a quick disconnect. You plug in three lines. You got a switch in the cab. You hit the switch and you run the in and out with your right track pedal. Uh, this winch is amazing. It's been, uh, we haven't even come close to maxing it out on the stuff we've done. Uh, very, very impressed with it.